Hello everyone, it's Joe here. Welcome back to Omzi 2 Add-on London. Today you find us sat at Crystal Palace bus station where we're about to operate a N2 through to Brixton. So yeah, let's get this bus set up. Now, uh, first of all, you might be thinking, ah, London City Bus 200, what's all that about? You might not be thinking that, you might be thinking Enviro 200. Good Lord, what on earth is that about? Well, I shall tell you. Uh, we've not done a, a video on the Enviro 200 in quite a while. And uh, I just thought that it would be quite nice. You know, like I say, we've, we've not done it in a while. It's had a few little updates since we last paid it a visit. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Arriva London would use this on the route, uh, on the route N2. It says on the uh, on the documentation that comes with the map that it, well, it's operated by Arriva up to every 30 minutes and it utilises the London City Bus 400. Uh, but we're using the 200. I would imagine, let's just think of a scenario that it could be, oh, well, all the Enviro 400s all caught fire at exactly the same time. What are the chances? It's, it, you know, it's just, you, you can't even write this sort of stuff. You know, they just all caught fire at the same time, and so to keep the service running, this Enviro 200 has been drafted in. I'm, I'm sensational at thinking on my feet there, aren't I? Uh, but yeah, so I thought, you know what, let's let's give it a go. It's not the ZF version, uh, despite the fact that since the last update, there has been a ZF version added, uh, because I know that Arriva tend to prefer, I say prefer, because it's not exclusive, but they tend to prefer using VoIP gearboxes in general. I know there'll be some exceptions and there'll be some of you sat there spitting your tea out at the computer screen at such a sweeping generalization statement made. But yes, in general. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well, again, from what I've seen on the route map, uh, the N2 is uh, pretty much a carbon copy of the 432 and so I can probably drive it because 432 is my favourite route for this game or for this add-on let's get some cornering done before we hit the railings oh you'll notice that in the uh, the London city bus we now have beeping indicators which is excellent uh, I don't like how they put the square there. I might have ranted about this before. But look, you, you can't stop at the front of the square because some idiot's built some railings. Brixton. Oh, dear me. Just one of the many things about this map that confuses me. But I reckon that's just probably London. I reckon that somebody has put that there. And the people building it will have thought, yeah, this doesn't make sense. And they'll have probably gone to the manager and said, look, this is a terrible idea. And the manager will have said, look, you're not paid to think. I've done the thinking and it's fabulous. And uh, yeah, that's how we've ended up with railings there. It could just be that it's, uh, that, you know, the railings aren't actually there and the, the box is in a different place. But we'll go in with that story because it's better. Right, okie dokie, we're just about ready to go. We've got everybody loaded on board. We've got a minute until it's time to set off. Are we, are we getting some more people? Yep, it looks like this chap here is coming round. Hello! Oh, and the uh, the Lufthansa cabin crew woman, she's here. It's good to see you, love. Hi, Hansen. Hiya! Yeah, good to see you as ever. Now, uh, quite what the frame rates are going to do on this map, I don't know. I mean, we seem to have got this kind of happy equilibrium. Is that the word you want to use? Oh, we turn left out of here, that's uh, that's good to know. I don't know if happy equilibrium is the word we want to use, but we've got it to kind of a happy... where we can cope with the frame rates. Uh, however, at night time, it likes to throw you a curveball sometimes, does Omzi, so... Uh, do you know what? It's, it's more or less time to go, isn't it? So let's go. Oh, she's brave. Another woman for Lufthansa. There must have been a flight that's just come in at that well-known Crystal Palace International Airport. Oh, hang on, where are we going now? We're going straight on, I reckon, because we're not going to Annerley. Yet yeah, straight on. Crystal Palace you see, busted. I'm getting to know London. No, nope, we've, we've just been to Crystal Palace bus station, my love. Catch up. 
Our uh, automatic Angela's a bit behind. Oh, don't just West don't just pull in front and slam on. That's just not the done thing. So yeah, the uh, the N2 was added in a later update. It wasn't originally available when uh, Add On London was first released, and uh, it seems to be could be wrong here. Seems to be uh, the shortest route currently available on this oh, map. Hello. Oh yes, hello dear. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, it seems to be the shortest route available with just 25 minutes running time. I don't know how that compares to the uh, the 201 because I know that's quite a short route as well. So it may not be quite as short as the uh, the 201. I'm not honestly sure to be honest with you. I mean, I could go back and look at the length of videos, but I know that the videos don't start at point of setting off, do they? You know, all of my videos come with a certain amount of waffle and uh, and other paraphernalia. Oh, the uh, yeah, you really don't like the uh, you don't like doing it at night, do you? The game's like, nope. I should very much be in bed at this point. I do not like having to get up and work at night time. Oh, let's let's see, because I mean, you know how I love a good screenshot. How will I know when the traffic lights are good? Well, the answer is you won't. Ah, oh, because the taxi will set off, won't it? Let's get a nice... Ooh, that's very nice. Providing I don't cock up the corner. Then that is very nice. We could do with a nice... A nice... Something a bit different of a screenshot for the uh, for the cover. The, uh, the, the thumbnail. I'm just really hoping I don't cock the corner up, you know, because... I reckon about there. That's good. Now we're just sat looking at some, some trees there. I mean, to be fair to the trees, they, they look crap. And uh, and you wouldn't get... Oh, off we go. Right, hovering over the screenshot button. And turn. Or don't. Ah, love it. Right, back in the cab before we crash. Yeah, those, uh, those trees, they look absolutely dreadful. Uh, but... To be fair, this is a one-way street, and unless I'd uh, not gone to look at those trees in the way that I did to take the screenshot, I'd never have noticed them. So, uh, I can live with that. I can live with the trees. I'll just have to build a bridge and get over it. But I'm already over it. The, the trees are fine. And of course, it's good for the frame rates. Don't over-build. Uh, don't over What's the word? Don't overplace things in areas where people aren't going to see them. What's the point? It just creates extra lag. So I do like what they've done there with the trees, despite the fact to look at them, you think, oh my god, what's happened there? The Sherwood Forest in the middle of London. Ah. Gypsy Hill Police Station. Now I do actually know the 432 off by heart. Can't remember if I've mentioned that yet. Uh, I'm very proud of the fact I know the 432 off by heart because it is my favourite route on this map so we will be paying it another visit but uh, so I do actually know how to drive it without the uh, the little direction arrows on from the map again it seems to be the case of that the N2 goes the same way as the 432 and you, you know if you know London you probably sat there like <laughs> what an idiot it's a well known fact that it does that may well be the case. But, of course, I don't want to take a chance just driving the 432 back to, uh, back to Brixton. Because if I take a wrong turn, then uh, I shall very much have egg on my face, won't I? And we can't be doing with that. So we'll, we'll be good, we'll stick to the arrows, and then I'll blow you away with my knowledge of the 432 uh, another time. So make sure you subscribe, so that you don't miss out on that. Just a, a little bit of uh, shameless plugging there of my channel. Oh, we've committed. Sorry, Mr. Red Light. I 
And I am actually, do you know what? I'm going to try and be a relatively good bus driver this episode. I mean, I always try and be a good bus driver. He says after he's just run a red light. Uh, but no, I'm going to try and be a good bus driver. You know, take it steady. We're in the middle of the night. There's no traffic on the road. So there's no need for us to fly round. We'll just take a nice leisurely drive along this route. Hermitage Road. It's chilling out, no need to thrash it. We'll just take our time and we'll get there in one piece. Give them all a comfortable ride. I'm hoping we can also do it without, uh, you know, without upsetting them. We always get a complaint. There's always that one guy that's like, uh, your driving is impeccable. No, I'm on the joke. It's stop the bus. I want to throw up. And then he never gets off, does he? So, you know, the, the I want my cake and to eat it kind of guy. N2 to Brixton. Salters Hill. Mm, what's going to happen? I have a feeling someone's going to come flying around the corner here. All these extra cars seem to have made an appearance at night. They're not normally here in the day. Well, what a stupid thing to come out with. A oh, that's a bit of curb clipping. I was trying to avoid that, to be honest with you. Hello. And two, two. Norwood Park. Although, despite the fact I said I wasn't going to thrash it, that did sound good, didn't it? Oh, is that a fellow N2 driver? Hello, N2 driver. Yes, hello. Oh, somebody's getting off here, so we do need to stop. Oh, so this might be where we see the Noble Bus Garage. Ah, uh, you see, I'm, again, learning London. Noble Park, Noble Bus Garage. It would make sense for them to be in in similar areas and uh, if you're thinking where on earth's Norwood bus garage that's the bus garage we started our drive on the 68 from uh, last time I said last time we didn't do the 68 last time but you know what I mean when we did drive the 68 that was the depot we started from there you go you got there in the end can we uh, nope we're not gonna make it slow down They never say thank you, do they? When you, uh, you know, when you very kindly stop and let them through. Oh, we're behind now, you see. We're uh, plodding about too much. It's making us late. We need less plodding. I thought that the N2 was going to be a nice leisurely slack-timed route, it appears. N2 it's uh, it's quite the con Brixton. controversy. Uh, quite the, quite the, uh, what what's the word? Quite the opposite. That's not the word you were thinking of. Quite the contrary. That's the one. Yes. Aha. There we go. Got there in the end. Uh, don't judge me. It's 20 past one in the morning, for goodness sake. It actually is. Look, it says it there at the top of the screen, and that means it's true. Oh, Norwood Garage. Aha. You see, I am 
I'm, I'm not quite a Londoner yet, but I'm well on the way to being a Londoner. Let's just navigate that without taking out the uh, Belisha beacon. We're allowed to clip the curb. That's a very difficult corner. And here we are at Noble Bus Garage. There's, uh, oh, here we are, look. These, uh, these all look like bus driving fellows. And they've certainly got the build of a bus driver, haven't they? Hello? And they must be in uniform. Hello? And, uh, yeah, she's frowning, so she's obviously been driving buses all night. N2 to Brixton. And then I'm not keen on this bit because she set off with the intention of, you know, let's uh, let's go for it. And then there's just a bus stop straight away around the corner. Hey, who puts a bus stop so close to the other one? Just walk, you lazy sod. Since Julian's Whoop, there we are. Whoop, stop. And then here's a bus driver in his uniform again. He's uh, He's obviously fallen out with the other two and refused to wait at the bus stop with him. Oh, that that sounded good, didn't it? We like a bit of thrash. West Norwood Station. It's even better when there's nobody on. He says at the top of his voice in the hut, the passengers can hear. It's even better when there's nobody on. Nah, I don't think they're going to get off, are they? Ah, so the N2 is ever so slightly different look, because the N2 goes down here, and then the N2 to uh, to wherever that is, yeah, to Crystal Palace goes around there, that's interesting. Maybe it does a loop then on a the night. I still can't get over the, the um, well the London City Bus 200 sounds absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? There's no denying, it just sounds brilliant. If you've ever been on an Enviro 200, which I imagine most of you watching probably have, it's just so real. Uh, you know, there's a lot of OMSI buses where you're kind of driving them thinking, you know, I, I, it looks like a, a whatever bus it is, I'm not going to name names. It looks like that type of bus, and it drives like that type of bus, but it sounds completely different. Usually it sounds like a man SD202. But yeah, really, really impressed with what Reese and the team have done with the uh, the, the City Bus 200. Uh, now get doing a regional version. You heard that there's no excuse. All this double door malarkey. That's, uh, yeah, that's a bit beyond me. It's, it's too much. You've got to be thinking about two doors at the same time. That's just it's too much for a, sim tr uh, a simple country bumpkin like myself. Uh, one set of doors is enough, thank you. I like to be able to scowl at all my passengers when they are boarding and alighting. So yes, please do get working on a regional variant. You, uh, you are instructed, nay commanded, uh, by myself there. I don't know if there's anything worse than waiting at temporary traffic lights knowing full well that there's nobody coming in the opposite direction. You know, you just sat here. I reckon that they put cameras on them, you know. And, uh, you know, at night time, in the day it's a bit more difficult, but at night time I reckon they have cameras on them and there's people on the night shift sat in the office just laughing at you. You know, they're, they're just sat looking through the camera like, look at this pumpkin sat in his car. You know, there's nobody around, but we're going to keep them on red just to inconvenience him. You can see he's been at at, uh, at work all day and all night 
and he just wants to get home to his family, but we're gonna keep it on red. Perhaps I'm cynical. Nope, we don't stop at this one. Mental note, do not stop. Tulse Hill Station. And the amount of rattling. That's very, very like the, uh, the, the real Enviro. Oh no, I like going forward there. I like this kind of little bus laney thing that we've got going on. I'm really gutted we have no excuse to use that on this run. I need to remember it's near Tulse Hill Station. What routes can we actually use it with? The N68, didn't even know that was a thing. 68C22 and X68, if you choose to go via Hearn Hill. Of course you would. Why would you go by Brixton in the X68? You're just asking for your frame rates to be smashed to pieces. I still don't get that. They do that on the, um, what do they call it? The city zap uh, near us, b between York and Leeds, where you, you pick up X amount of times and drop off X amount of times. But between York and Leeds itself, it's an express route and the bus driver can just go their way. And that just, ah, I can't cope with that. Being allowed to make your own decisions at work. What a load of rubbish. No, 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 no. I like to follow a set route, not have to think about it, just go the route that everyone says. I believe they have this thing called Zap Nav, which just makes me laugh on, uh, on all accounts. And two, Where are we now? Two, right, okay, okay. Then. Carry on. We're two minutes late. How on earth has that happened? Nope, you need to be in the right-hand lane as well. Well, get doing that. Ah, now if I'm not mistaken, we're going to go around the corner. And it's going to be where the 415 starts. Yes, it right. is. Do you know what? I'm getting this London thing. I really am. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you, you still need to stop here. Despite the fact that the uh, the 415 starts here does not mean to say you don't stop. My, my momentary excitement there. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to give up with the whole uh, being a good leisurely bus driver thing because we are over two minutes late now, which is not acceptable. Yeah, we need to start making some time back, so if it all goes downhill in terms of driving quality here, it's a night bus. You're on the bus in the middle of the night. Just get a grip. If you want to get home, just get on the bus and enjoy my driving. Oh, it's not making it up the hill. It's a, it's a damn sight easier than when we tried to uh, tried to go up this hill in the ALX 400 in, uh, in ice, isn't it? Hill. Nope, sorry we've committed. Very much a traffic offence. Yeah, perhaps I should have stopped there. Anybody getting off? No, but there's more getting on. I thought the night buses would be empty. Why are there so many people? Oh, hello fellow bus driver on the N2. Oh, bloody hell, more people. Unbelievable. Are we not in a lockdown? Should you all not be at home? Evidently not. Ooh, being a bit risky, setting off with the doors open there. And two. 
two to Brixton. Well, I'm, I'm sorry if you wanted this bus stop, but it's closed. Where's the where's the thing? Information. Four. The next bus stop is closed. There you go. Sorry, love. You'll have to stay uh, on this route. Or you'll have to stay on the bus until the next stop. Certainly. Quick. We'll uh, we'll set off before they can click emergency doors open. Oops. Never mind. Right, back on track. Oh yeah, you want to get off here, don't you? After I've carted you miles out of your way down the road. I'd like to think they knew. I'd like to think they knew. They probably didn't. Oh, hang on. People still want to get off. Are you? Have you quite finished yet? Yep, there we go. Jolly good. Brixton. Full steam ahead. Hold on tight, everybody. Good lord, I can't actually believe quite how busy we are. That's probably why they put an Enviro 400 on it. Maybe I was uh, quite naive in assuming. Because it's a night bus, there'll be nobody on it. Oh, Brixton Water Lane. That has a Sainsbury's next to it, if memory serves me right. There we go. Here's the Sainsbury's on the left. You see, I'm just good at this. I'm, I'm just fantastic at this now. There you go. You're saying, well, I haven't seen the Sainsbury's on the left. This big silvery thing that they've got going on here. That Sainsbury's looks like it's still open, so it must be a 24-hour Sainsbury's. We've got no camera still, have we? No. I don't think we do. I'll have to check when the doors next open. To Brixton. But yeah, so we we still can't see on the city bus 200 when they're uh, when they're fully off. Wah! Straight away, drag race the van, foot down, quick, quick, quick. Marvel Road. Oh, he's oh, are you just cutting in front? Yeah, is that what? We, oh no, you're letting me go past. It's very generous. Or you were indicating left to do a right turn, as you do. Hey, dear me. You're lucky I was stopping to pick someone up or I wouldn't have stopped for you there. Oh, hang on. Check the uh, check the camera. Nope, camera, nothing. Never mind. Maybe I'm looking at the, the wrong bit. Do they even have a camera? You'd imagine if the double-decker does that the single-decker would as well. I imagine that's probably coming in a future update. St Matthew's Estate. A light here for Route 37 towards Clapham Common, Clapham Junction, Wandsworth and Putney Heath. Yeah, when I hint there and say, oh, it, it might be coming in a future update, I, uh, if, uh, if the developer hasn't you know, I'm hoping the developer might probably watch this video. Uh, the other day it came up with like a, you know, you, you get, well you might not if you don't do YouTube, but it, it pops up every now and then saying, oh, so and so subscribed to you. And you can see who's subscribed to you. And, uh, and I saw that RM Developments had subscribed to me. And I, I came over all funny like, oh, I, you know, I feel like a celebrity subscribed to my channel. I was like, oh, that is exciting, isn't it? I mean, it's probably not on the same grounds as if, I don't know, Shakira subscribed to my channel. Lambert Why would Su Shakira subscribe to my channel, I hear you ask? Well, she might have a particular interest in buses and train simulation. You never know. Her job is to be an international singer. In her spare time, she might ride up and down on the 415 between Britlay's Arms and Tulse Hill. You just never know, do you? It's probably unlikely, but, uh, you know, anything's possible. Oh, come on, there's nobody coming the other way. 
You can tell these lights are clearly not operated by uh, you know the traffic lights flashing. Not traffic lights, full beam. Because we all do that, don't we? When we're coming up to some traffic lights on the night time. Get the uh, give the old full beam a flash. Try and get them to change quicker. Have we got an N2? Yes we have. Oh, it's here. Timing point? Nah, too late to be bothering about with timing points, love. No, we can use the mirror now, because people have got off. Fair dues, right, we're all on. N2. To be fair, despite the fact we're 2.6 minutes late, nobody's actually started whinging yet, have they? Normally they turn up and go, oh, the driver's watch must be broken. This bus is always late. Brixton Station, a light here for national rail and local bus services. Hello. to Brixton. Oh, make sure you, yeah, make sure you stop. I think this is where we turn off, not here, just in front. And uh, and that is going to be our our terminus terminus point. I think I believe anyway. Could be wrong. Yeah, this definitely looks like uh, terminus point. It's not called terminus point, but you know the point of the video where we shall terminate. It does sound good, doesn't it, when you set off from a bus stop with your foot to the floor. We'll be good. Pop the handbrake on. Be good. Well, I can categorically say there that driving from Crystal Palace through to Brixton, the N2 is identical to the 432. So, uh, yep, we've all learnt something today. Well, I certainly have anyway. Again, you probably sat there like, what a flaming idiot. Did he not realise? Well, that, that just goes to show uh, that I did not realise. Round the corner. We're near the terminus. There's no messing about. This is obviously my going home bus where I finish for the night. Everybody off. Come on, clear off. You've all got homes to go to, I imagine. Let's have a nosy. I'll be like a little CCTV camera near the roof. There we go. Entry right, you're all off. To Brixton. Lights off because we're not in service. Or interior lights, anyway. Splendid. And we can actually floor it now, can't we? Because there's nobody on to whinge. You tend to see that, don't you, with bus drivers, that, you know, they drive all steady into the bus station and then as soon as everyone's off, lights off, floor it, foot to the floor, it's your going home bus. Yeah, no messing. Come on! Let's be having you. Oh, 
and they've very kindly not put speed bumps. Whoops, that's a curb. They've very kindly not put speed bumps in our uh, in our little bus lane a bit. Right, let's come to a stand here. Well, there we have it. That's the four three two. Should we uh, should we pop our handbrake on and turn the engine off? That's the four three two. No, it's not. It's the N two. Well, it's sort of the four three two. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click the like button and uh, do comment your thoughts in the comments. That's what the comments are there for. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of your favourite OMSI favourites. Rapidly running out of OMSI 2 add-on London things to do. So I'm hoping that they, uh, you know, they, they add on some more bits and pieces. Or something new and revolutionary comes out that we can focus our OMSI efforts on. Because I would hate to, I know a lot of my subscribers are here for OMSI. Uh, so, you know, I'd hate to run out of things to do. You know, we can we can always stay in London and just do new videos driving the same routes. Uh, but if you have any other ideas for OMSI-related things, any new additions you'd like to see me do a video on, then of course let me know. I'll be more than happy to uh, check that out. Anyway, until next time, cheerio, goodbye for now.